Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, which is Sirach 39 and 28 in the Apocrypha books. And it reads, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on the sore scrokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out the force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And this is the book of Matthews, chapter 24, verse 12, in the Holy Scriptures it reads, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Second Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1, in the reads of the Holy Scriptures, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, let me give all the praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I'll say Shalom. And as you see, this uh, what's happening earlier as of yesterday because it's past it's, it's past 12 o'clock now it's 2 33 a.m uh what just happened uh on monday night because this you know this is tuesday now as you see uh this is an abc news uh, article from msn.com and it reads uh michigan state university shooting police say three dead five injured and i believe it was a 43 year old suspect he was a black male he had the full description of him and everything and i think they said uh he did like two different locations of the uh, shooting that he did and it reads i'm gonna bring it out again it says michigan state university shooting police said three dead five injured suspect shot shot self it says uh, three people are dead and five other five others are injured after a shooting at multiple locations on michigan state university east lansing campus monday night police said that a suspect has died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound uh i believe this is a and then I guess they'll give you the details of the story right here and play this clip. A series of events that have occurred here this evening. Uh, we've had a tremendous amount of support from our community to include our law enforcement partners who are here with me at the moment as well. Um, standing at the far right, we have Ingham County Prosecutor John Duane. Uh, next to him, we have Sheriff, Sheriff Scott Wigglesworth. Special Agent in Charge of the FBI, Jim Tarasca, and you've already met Deputy Chief Chris Rosman. I wanted to thank you for, for coming to share us as we update our community in regards to tonight's events. Um, we will get directly to the most recent update with that, and then we'll have uh, comment and questions. Thank you, Chief. Uh, again, Chris Rosman, Deputy Chief with Michigan State University Police and Public Safety. So we start tonight by sharing an important update. And that update is the suspect in this incident was located outside of the MSU campus. And it does appear that that suspect has uh, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It is confirmed that he is deceased. This truly has been a nightmare that we are living tonight, but we have remained laser focused on the safety of our campus, our students, and the surrounding community. We are relieved to no longer have an active threat on campus, while we realize that there is so much healing that will need to take place after this. Again, to reiterate the update, there is no longer a threat to campus. We believe there to only be one shooter in this incident, and there is no longer a need to shelter in place on campus. 
There is no longer a threat on campus. We are sad to report that there have been three confirmed fatalities. This is in addition to the five victims who were injured and transported to the hospital. Some of those five victims still have life-threatening injuries. Out of respect for the families, and while we continue our active investigation, we cannot confirm any personal information about any of the victims at this time. Again, we want to reiterate to everybody that we know there is a lot of information that's being shared on social media and being said on the scanner. Please continue to get your information from us. We are committed to sharing timely and transparent information. Our hearts are with those who have been affected by this senseless act of violence. Giving an update like this is never easy. As a father, I can only imagine how parents are feeling right now. This will be the beginning of a long healing process for everyone who has been affected. That is the initial information that we're able to share at this point. I'll conclude by saying again that this is still a fluid situation. There are several different crime scenes that we are processing with our state and federal partners. And there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Special Agent in Charge James Tarasca from the FBI. Thanks, Chris. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm Jim Tarasca, Special Agent in Charge of the FBI in Michigan. Our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and the entire community. I'd like to thank Chief Lynch for your leadership tonight and your partnership. This evening, FBI agents and our response teams join our law enforcement partners to assist in investigating this horrific incident. We will continue to investigate till we are sure no further threat is posed to the public, which at this point, we're pretty clear it's not. Additionally, we will provide victim services to all students impacted by this incident. We're asking the public, in addition to the other uh, numbers provided to call in for information, we have the 1-800-CALL-FBI number. Please feel free to use that to call in any tips. Um, this is an ongoing investigation. We'll continue investigating throughout the night and uh, likely days. So with that, Chief, thank you. Thank you. In addition to the FBI tip line, we have countless investigators from not only the MSU, Police and Public Safety, but our local, county, state, and federal partners assisting us with this investigation, and there still is a lot to do. I'm gonna provide another 800 number and email address for anybody that may have any information that will help our investigators as we put the pieces together for this incident. That phone number, and we'll also share it on our social media, is 844-99-MSUPD. Again, 844-99-MSUPD. And our tip line is tips, T-I-P-S, at police.msu.edu. Our investigators will continue to work tonight and around the clock to process the crime scenes and start to put the pieces together to try to understand what happened here tonight. At the um, I, I know this is going to be a long uh, official announcement of the update of this story, but I had stopped it right there. But, you know, it was going to a full details of the uh, suspect that did the... Uh, shooting at the uh, Michigan State University in East Lansing on Monday night. 
of uh, multiple locations and he shot himself on the scene of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. But I'm continuing on with the reading of this news article. It says the injured victims has been transported to a hospital of a U.S. I mean MSU police and public safety said during a press briefing. All five victims remain in critical condition. Chris Robson, interim deputy sheriff, I mean chief, said during a press conference. Sparrow Hospital Communications and directors and John Form confirmed to ABC News that the hospital received five patients from the shooting. Form did not have an update on their conditions, but they are not expecting any more patients. And says there is no longer a threat on campus after the shelter in place order has been lifted. Roseman said he identified the suspect as a 43 year old male who was not affiliated with the university. He was not a student, faculty, staff, Roman says. Uh, Rosman meant to say, if, if I pronounce the name right, says. And we have no idea why he came to the campus to do this tonight. It says uh, police initially received a 911 call of shots fired at 818 on Monday night in Berkeley Hall. It's located several victims there when responded. Rosman said police then received a report of another shooting and responding to the MSU, which is the Michigan State University Union building. There, they found other victims, according to the Rosman. And it says two other fatalities were a, at Berkeley and one was at a MSU Union building, Rosman said. Police are still looking to determine the suspect's identity and possible motive, the interim deputy chief says. This still, this is still a fluid situation, Rosman said. There are several different crime scenes that were processing with our state and federal partners, and still a lot of work that needs to be done. And this was the image photos, two of the image photos of the uh, suspect of the uh, multiple locations in the Michigan State University on February uh, 13, 2023. It says that uh, police initially said there were multiple injuries at the IM East Fitness Center on campus. It says that uh, police said that Bradley Hall Snyder Phillips and Hall Manson, uh, Linda Hall, the MSU Union in Berkeley Hall has been cleared. And it says, Rosman said police have received multiple calls from other buildings around the campus. And as the shooting unfolded, uh, officers responded but didn't find signs of incident at those locations. He said his department has begun collecting and analyzing security photos from the building around the campus. And it says there are surveillance cameras that are going to be used and helpful in this investigation that will aid other investigators in putting the pieces together and trying to understand a little more about what happened. He said, it says, uh, Authorities told students not to come to campus Tuesday that the campus activities, including classes and athletics, are canceled for 48 hours. I believe that's yeah, about three days. And it says the city, yeah, that's about, about, yeah, it's about like two, about two or three days. It says the uh, city of East Lansing had also tweeted that community members should shelter in place and it says uh, Michigan Governor Grincher Whiteman said she has been brief on the shooting tweeting the Michigan State Police along with the Michigan State Police uh, local law enforcement the first responder are on the ground let's wrap our arms around the Spartan community tonight 
we will keep everyone updated as we continue more and it says the brutal of alcohol tobacco firearms and explosive detroit division and the fbi are on the scene this is the 67 mass shooting of 2023 the gun violence archive said it says tonight has been horrific lindsey mayor andy scrocial said tuesday i mean early tuesday he said he have heard from concerns community members throughout the reach we know uh that now we have to come together to heal and this is a developing story please check back for updates so yeah we'll bring out the scriptures once again and this is a second timothy's chapter 3 verse 1 this no so also that in the last days perilous times should come and this is uh, Matthews 24 and 12. And because the iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And the book of Ecclesiasticus, which is the book of Sorak, chapter 39, verse 28, in the apocryphal books of the scripture. And it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance with, in their fury lay on soul scrooks. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of them that made it so yeah this uh these are definitely are the signs of the times that we are living in as you see i was reading throughout the whole news article and this is they this is the uh 37 37 so far in the year 2023 of 37 mass shootings so far in the year 2023 here in north america so you know where this is our uh, definitely perilous times in, in modern day Babylon, you know, because the scripture says, as I was reading the holy scriptures, because it's it stated says in the last days that there are definitely going to be an increase of uh, perilous times, you know, just like I covered covered the story earlier today, early of uh, yesterday, I believe it was a guy had a. Uh, uh, used a U-Haul truck and he hit injured eight pedestrians because at first it was three and it went up to uh, eight I believe it, they had updated the story on that so you know you've definitely been seeing a lot of a lot of activities of uh, when it comes to crime it, crime and violence is definitely increasing you know the overall mass shooting so far in the United States was like 37 so far. Like I mentioned again, you know, as I brought out those scriptures in the last second Timothy's of uh, three and one, you know, also know in the last days perilous times should come, and we're definitely living in those increasing times of perilous times, you know, and it's gonna increase more and more and more, you know. And the love of many are going to wax cold even more and more and more because we see it increasing more and more and more and also more than often, you know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying of the news clip that I just brought at the uh, news clip that I just played and the news article that I just read too as this latest shooting as of Monday night, which was uh, yesterday. Cause this, this is Tuesday, 2.51 a.m. in the morning. And it reads, uh, Michigan State University shooting. Police says three dead, five injured, and suspect shot itself. And those, and those are five injuries. There are, those patients are still in critical condition with life-threatening injuries, I believe, according to what the uh, local officials were saying. You know, so a hey, this is a another increasing indicator of the signs of the times that we are currently living in, and it's gonna increase more and more and more. You know, as we continue to see these things increase more and more and more. You know, so with that, once again, I hope for this lesson was edifying. Like I mentioned again, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakar Kadash. 
uh, double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe. Peace with word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say shalom.